guys, welcome back to Gaming Cats. Now today, I'm going to be showing you how to make a DIY rose bouquet made out of clay. So this is very simple to make. You're just going to need some clay. Now before we get started, I know you're thinking, but it's called Gaming Cats. Why are you doing clay and crafts? Well, it's also going to be a crafts channel because I really like crafts. Now, before we get started, go ahead down there, click the subscribe button, and turn on those notifications. Now, the first thing you'll need is a dark green color, and you're going to need that for the stem. So you're going to need to take some of this and put it off to the side. Then, you're going to need, you can pick like a red or a purple or anything, but I'm going to use a dark red, and that's going to be for the bow going around the bouquet and then you're going to need some colors for your roses now this is optional however many roses you want I'm having five roses so I'm gonna pick five colors of my choice you guys can pick however many colors you want however many roses you want so I have purple yellow light pink blue and a lime green now the first part you're gonna need the dark green and we are going to make some stems so you're going to take you don't want to take a whole lot of the portion because it you don't want it to be too thin you don't want it to be too thick so you're going to go ahead and roll this out and you're going to try to make sure that it's pretty even then you're going to go ahead and make four others but technically if you're making only two roses, you're only going to need two stems. So I need five because I'm making five roses. The next step you're going to do is we're going to make the roses. So even if you don't want to make a bouquet, this is still a tutorial on how to make roses. Because you can just make big roses and put them, place them around your house. So the first color I'm going to use is a pink. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to take the chunk you're going to want to roll it into a ball, and then you're going to set it down and just smush it. And then you're going to roll another ball, smush it, and then place it over top. So you're going to keep overlapping over top of the last one you did, but you don't want to do too you don't want to overlap it too many times, otherwise it's going to be really thick. So you only want to do it a decent amount of times. So you're going to keep doing that. And you don't want your roses, your rose petals to be too thick or too skinny. So after you have completed that, you're going to take it off and it should look about like this. So you can tell that this was the place that I started right here. So you're going to take the place that you started by and you're going to roll it over like this. Then you're just going to roll it. And now basically you have two sides to pick from. So you can pick from this, the top side or the bottom side. Now I'm going to go, I think, with the bottom side, and then you're just going to pinch the other side you don't want and take off the excess. Now, after you've made all of your roses, so I just finished making my five roses, you're going to bring back the stems, and you are going to merge them. Basically, just attach them on top of the stem, like this. And you're going to do that for all of them until you have merged them all together. Now this is a very interesting video and I will be posting more clay videos because I really like to do clay and it's one of my passions. So yeah. And after you've finished making all of the roses, they should look something like this. Then you are going to choose how you want them to form. So you're going to go like this. Uh, well, you can basically do whatever design you want. I'm going to try to go circle. Okay, this is my design. This is how I chose to put my roses. So you're gonna lay it like this and you wanna make sure that the stems are just about even. So you see how they're not very even. You're gonna take a tool, you can even just use a plastic knife or anything or just use your hands and you're just gonna cut it at the bottom so they're about even and then pinch it. So then it should look like this, about that. You're gonna remove the excess and put it over with your other colors. Now we're gonna take out the 
reddish color, whichever color you pick to be the bow. And the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take some out, you're going to roll it, and you're going to want to make it, you're going to want to measure it and make it about the length of here. So you see this? It's pretty good. So now I'm going to take that off and I'm going to flatten it out so that it looks like this. So that's good. So now I'm going to put it back on and remove the excess. And then it should look something like this. You can even make your bow higher up, but I just made it down in the middle so that there's more room for the wings. So the next step you're going to do is you're gonna take a little chunk and you're gonna roll it. And then you are going to put the two sides together like this and then pinch it. So it should look about like this. Then you're gonna make two of those. You're gonna put them together like that. So it should look like this now. Close to a bow, about the wings of the bow. Now you're gonna make a little circle. You're gonna roll a ball and place it in the middle be the center of the bow. And the final step for the bow is you are going to roll out another little thing, smush it down, and that's going to be the part that's flowing out of the bow. And you're going to want to make two of those about the same size. So, like this. Your bow should look pretty similar to what mine looks like right now. And then you're going to take it and you are going to place it on to the part that you wrapped around. So it should look exactly like this or similar. And yeah, that's basically how you make a bouquet of flowers. Thank you for watching.